Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Danielle, and if you've ever felt the personal struggle between wanting to work out but not wanting to sweat out your hair, then girl, make sure you stay tuned for my new series all about some tips, strategies, and styles that you can use to help you maintain that healthy physique, but also keep that cute hairstyle throughout the week, all right, sis? So without further ado, let's hop into this first video all about gym-approved natural hairstyles. The first hairstyle I love to rock are mini twists. Typically, when I wear mini twists, I like to do a little like swoop de doop bang in the front, not the bang, but yes, the bang. And um, I'll keep them in a low bun, or if I'm feeling a little extra fancy, I'll put them in a high bun, and then I'll just wrap some braiding hair around my head to um, add some fullness. What I love about these twists y'all is literally I will do them at the beginning of the week so like Sunday night I'll wake up wear them to church on Sunday wear them to work on Monday and say I work out Monday night like my hair still looks good when I wake up Tuesday morning like there's really not much touch-up that I have to do as long as I put my silk scarf on at night that helps um, lay down any frizzies that might have been caused or anything like that and you know if I want to be a little more extra and lay down my edges like I can do that as well but truthfully they really don't need a lot of work throughout the week and so that's why I love them because I can literally go as hard in the gym as I want as many times a week as I want and I know that they're gonna be fine also added bonus is that um, a lot of times I will finish my last workout for the week on maybe maybe a Friday sometimes a Saturday but afterwards say you know I'm trying to kick it with some girls from my small groups and friends something like that if I'm tired of just wearing my mini twists the way they are in my bun I can also just untwist them and have a really cute twist out like two for one okay it's it's bomb i'm trying to tell y'all y'all need to get on this mini twist train my next favorite gym approved natural hairstyle is pretty much just that my natural hair personally i love wearing my natural curls in a high puff that's just my preference i almost never wear them down just because i feel like it's just easier for me to maintain it when it's in a high puff and then also i love to work out and it's just i don't want my hair all over the place when i'm working out so just just easy to keep it in a puff. Say you catch me outside one day and I'm wearing my natural hair and suddenly it starts pouring rain. That's the only time you will ever catch me just be like, I'm just like, well, it's my natural hair. Like it can't revert any further. So it is what it is. And so if I'm like that with the rain, then I'm like, okay, my natural hair and sweat, it's, it's the same deal. You know, it's no big thing to me. However, I am sensitive to my naturals and I know that there are some natural girls out there who they like to stretch their wash and goes at the root just to add a little bit more length. If that's the case and you do like to stretch your hair at the roots a little bit, then I absolutely would still recommend putting your hair in a high puff while you're working out just because you want the tension um, from that high puff to keep your hair stretched while you're sweating and exercising and then make sure it's fully dry before you take that high puff down because otherwise it's just going to be easier for your hair to revert back by the way if you like really really want to take it a step further and really make sure that your hair is staying stretched while you're working out you can definitely do the um, banding method that is definitely a surefire way to make sure that your hair stays stretched and good while you're working out and then of course as with the other situation, you just wanna make sure that your hair is fully and completely dry before you let it down. So y'all might think I'm a little crazy for this next one, but I promise you it's workable. And that is a braid out or twist out. I know. Your Honor, I know this is risky, but I'd like to bring my first witness to the stand and her name is Danielle Underwood. Me. Mind you, this is not um, like a twist out or braid out or anything like that, but I really do feel like the same rules apply when it comes to stretching your hair during your workouts. So this is actually a flexi rod set on blown out hair. And I got this seven days ago, like literally a week from right now, this moment in time is when my hairstylist was doing my hair. And y'all, I've literally worked out like three or four times this week. I did two strength sessions that were each about 45 minutes and then I did some very intensive cardio just this morning and like this is how my hair looks like curls 
still looking good, still shining. And so I just wanna say it's possible. Like I just learned the right way to stretch my hair. I learned that I have to put my hair in like a pineapple with a scrunchie, wrap it around a couple of times. I wear a gym band, which we'll get into in a later video, but like it's possible. With all that being said, I just want to be completely 100% transparent with y'all and say that there have absolutely been times where I did my hair in a twist out or a braid out and I went to work out and then afterwards I was just like, what has happened with my hair? So I wanted to provide one of my backup hairstyles that I like to use if, you know, I did an old twist out. A perm rod set braid out and um, you know I don't necessarily still want to wear it down or like the way that I initially styled it but I, I still want to be able to wear it until my next wash day. The great thing about our hair is that a lot of times even if our roots start sweating out like the the curl pattern at the bottom will still hold. So what I do I usually take out these uh, tendril type things and then um, I'll put the rest of my hair up in like a high bun, but you could also do a low bun if you want. And then that's pretty much it. Sometimes I'll accessorize with like a headband or a bandana, um, or even if you want to, you can kind of braid these things in the front if you still aren't really happy with your curl pattern, or maybe you can just add, you know, a perm rod set on it or a flexi rod uh, just in the front just to reset it again. But I promise you, like, it is recoverable. You can do something. All right, y'all, that's all I have for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, my good friend, I pray that you consider subscribing and joining the family. Other than that, make sure you stay on the lookout for my next video, which will be a week in my natural hair gym routine. So if you wanna see how I personally take care of my hair throughout the week when I'm working out, then make sure you turn on that notification bell so you can get notified when that next video goes up. But that's all for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see y'all next time. Bye. Thank you.